Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back with Horsehaven World Adventures, so we've earned 10 diamonds for reaching the first reward here for the twin breeding milestone. So I'm going to continue doing this and using these tickets to breed twins. Um, I am a little bit short in space, so I think I probably am going to go ahead and probably sell off a bunch of horses uh, so I can make a bit more space soon. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and try here for an ink. Um, so I'm going to breed my ink here to one of these. So I'm going to breed my tier 1 to this tier 3, and I am going to go ahead and use some of the twin tickets here, just in the off chance. Now I've only got a 6% chance of getting the tier 3, it's more likely we're probably going to get another tier uh, 1, but we also might get a tier 2 if we're lucky. Okay, another set of tier 1s, but we can train those off anyway to earn some diamonds. So that is okay, I'm not too worried about that. We'll get some friends here to accelerate the breeding time for these foals in the breeding house. Okay, so I'm going to feed uh, my Andalusian here to try and get it to level 10. The minute I'm trying to get all of my Andalusians up to level 15 before I sell them off, but some of them I might sell um, if I get a daily uh, special um, quest to do, I might just do that. Now, there's a bunch of horses here in my um, ground stable. I'm going to go ahead um, get the rewards for leveling these horses up and also um, after that if there's any of them that have reached level 15 um, I might sell them off at some point so at the minute I have mostly just a few horses that are sort of going up close to level 15 we have a few level 15s here not all of them are necessarily ready um, it is quite quick um, leveling up these Andalusians because they're only tier 1 um, they don't take a lot of feeding, and they don't take a lot of training to get to level 15 to sell them all for diamonds, so it seems to be pretty good so far. Now, we'll go back here to um, my main ranch here, collect some of our coins, and we're going to go ahead and go into the breeding house here and start breeding some more Andalusians, because this is what I'm kind of using my UK ranch for, it's purely for farming diamonds. Um, so. I, I've sometimes been using the twin breeding tickets for this, sometimes I haven't. We're just going to go with a normal breeding this time because these horses are extremely cheap to breed. It's kind of a bit silly using the breeding tickets. There's has been occasions I have done when I haven't had another horse I wanted to use them on. Okay, now I'm going to have a check on our twin breeding. So we've got another reward. We've got 50 diamonds for the next milestone. So we're making good progress with the twin breeding milestone so far. So here on my US ranch, I'm going to go ahead here and go into the breeding house because I am trying still to get a tier 3 sanctity and unfortunately I haven't had any luck so far but we're gonna go ahead and try again here I'm stuck on tier 2s at the moment um, so hoping eventually to get the tier 3 it's so far I've not had much luck I've had a lot of uh, um, these tier 2s again now we're going to use the normal breeding for this because um, I haven't had much luck so far and I don't really have space for twins right now so let's see. No, okay, so unfortunately it's still another tier two. I'm kind of glad I didn't use the twin tickets in that case. So in here I'm going to breed to one of my friend's horses and uh, at the minute I kind of really want to try and get um, some really nice fantasy horses. I'd really love to get a spinal fairy corn so um, I'm going to try breeding one of my horses to this and uh, I think I might use jams if the chance looks like it's too low. So. I'm just going to pick one of my horses down here, I think we'll use this tier 3. Okay, so we'll breed these two together. Uh, do you want the twin breed? And I think we'll just go with normal for this. Now, um, we could get a Jade Fairy Horse, which I don't want because we've already got those. Um, we could also get another Glimmering Fairy Horse tier 3, I don't want that. There's only 1% on this, I'm going to go ahead and use these. I probably should have used the twin tickets on this to be honest. Um, but. I'd rather get one. So I'm just going to go ahead and use as many of these gems. Okay, so you do not have enough. Right. 71%. If this doesn't land, I'm going to be absolutely ripping. Yes! Okay, right. We've got our legendary spinal fairy corn. I am pleased with that. This is, I think, one of the uh, rarest uh, fantasy horses. I have just used all of those special gems that I had for this, but I'm happy to do that. And I will speed this up a little bit um, by asking friends to help us get this full out of the breeding house faster. So we'll hire them to do that. So here in my fantasy island ranch again, um, I think the spinal fairy corn should be ready now to take out of the breeding house. Now, 
I want to have a look in here and see if I have any of these that I could sell. So we'll sell this one. So we need some space. Um, in this ranch, just overall, there's not a lot of space in this ranch. So, yeah. No space in our stables, so at least now we can move something in here. Um, we've now got a space, 17 out of 18. So we'll just move one of our horses into there, I think. And then we can move our spinal fairy corn full. Could actually maybe sell that, because I've got two meals here. Yeah, I could, I could sell the tier 10, just the, or the level 10, let's just sell that one. Okay, I'll move that one down. Then we won't even need to actually move anything out of the round stable. Okay, that works. Right, let's get our spinal fairy corn. Let's move that over here. Right, now that we've got our spinal fairy corn, we're going to go ahead and uh, start feeding it and level it up to level 5, because I really want to see it in its um, adult form. So, I really think the tier 2 is stunning, but I just thought I'd go for the tier 3, I might as well. So, right, we're going to go ahead and feed this full. We have some soybeans. Okay, that will get you a little bit of leveling up, so we'll just keep leveling until we get to level 5. Okay, this should level this full to level 5 if we're lucky. Okay, let's skip that. 300. Yes, it has. Okay, so there we go. There is level 5 on this final fairy coin. So let's see it. That's really pretty. I still prefer, personally, I like the tier 2 colours better, I think, than this one. But I still think it's a very, very pretty horse. So, um, this might be a horse that maybe... Possibly might try and tra train up a little bit. I haven't just decided whether I want to yet, but it is a possibility. So we'll just have a look here and maybe put some tack on it possibly as well. Um, I think uh, one set in particular would look quite nice on this horse. Yeah, the saddle, um, the head piece if I can find it as well. Um, where is it? Should be down here somewhere. Should be there. Okay. Yeah, this is the one I wanted. I think that looks really nice on that horse. Okay, so here in the UK, ranch again, we're just going to go ahead and feed some more of our Andalusians here. If we're lucky, this might level this horse up a little bit. And also, we are super close to being rank 39, so I'm really, really hoping that feeding this horse might level us up. I just really hope that it is going to take us to that uh, point and see if we get some reward. Okay, so we got some diamonds from that. That's pretty good, actually. I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, okay. So we have reached rank 39. Oh, we have got some building upgrades and some rewards for doing that. Really pleased because I've been feeding horses and feeding and feeding and feeding so many horses to try and get XP from them uh, to finally level up. So I'm really pleased with that. Um, that likes us a little bit closer to unlocking um, some higher tier horses at the Breeding Society. So here on my UK ranch I'm going to check on the special quests. So we need to collect 500 diamonds, so this would be a good time now to sell off some horses. And I have plenty of ranches that are full, so I'm going to go ahead and just sell off as many horses here as I can. I'm going to start with the level 15s. Um, some of the other ones I may sell as well. If I find that I'm getting really, really close to that, maybe I'm not just finished. As long as they're earning me some diamonds, I don't mind. So I'm just going to sell off as many of those as possible. And then we're going to go in here and move some of these. Because I want to get these out so I can have a look at them. Okay, let's see. Um, some of these horses I could probably feed. We'll go ahead and feed one of these ones. So, let's see if I feed you, if you'll level up. Possibly. Okay, doesn't look like... No, we're not going to get to level 15 immediately with that one. Alright, let's see if we can feed another one of these horses. This will be the quickest way to get them, rather than putting them out to train, because that'll take a couple hours. Feed you some apples. As long as I can get them a little bit higher level, because I just need enough diamonds to get me that special quest uh, completed. That's really all I want right now. I don't mind if I sell off some of these Andalusians a little bit early because um, they're cheap to produce. They're not, um, they don't take a huge amount of money. Like, obviously, the feeding does, but the feeding is of obviously also uh, leveling me up, which unlocks stuff for me. So it's, you know, it's sort of a good thing 
in that regard. You know, I can unlock new buildings, more buildings, and so forth. So it's uh, not uh, totally going to waste in that regard. Okay, we only didn't get any diamonds from that. Bit disappointed, but oh well. Right now, I'm going to go ahead here and try for another fantasy horse. So I want to try and get an amethyst fairy corn. So I'm just going to breed my spinal fairy corn here to this one, if I can. Okay, let's try this. Normal breeding. Right, okay, so 73% chance of a lava unicorn tier 1. I don't think I have a lava unicorn, so even if we got that, that would be fine. Um, I don't think we're going to get the other one, but it looks like it's only 10% chance. No, okay. Well, we've got a lava unicorn, but I don't have any of them, so that's absolutely fine. That is still a good thing. We've got a new uh, fantasy horse. Because I have not done a huge amount with my fantasy horses just yet. Okay, so my lava unicorn foal here. I am going to ask for help from my friends to speed this up and get it out of the breeding house. There's only a couple of hours left on it. Um, this should this should get it out of the breeding house pretty quickly now because this is going to save 16 hours and we don't need that mount. Okay, so that foal is now ready. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start working on that foal, level it up and uh, get uh, it to level 5, so we're going to go ahead and feed this full. Alright, it wants some of these. Like that. We got a reward, what did we get? No, just some, just some blue feed, nothing particularly exciting. Okay, now you want some pumpkins. Alright, so this is a tier 1 mythic lava unicorn, and uh, then we have the tier 2, and then finally tier 3, which is a legendary. So now you want some pumpkins. So you need some pumpkins. This should give you a little bit more XP. There we go. So there's level two. Okay, so I've got this full now to level three. It's nearly level four. I'm gonna give it some of these pumpkin salads. Let's see if that will level it up. Um, oh, it's actually gonna go to level five. Awesome. Okay, so we'll get to see the adult form of this one. Okay, let's have a look. Oh, okay, so it's got like little sort of um, almost like magma on its feet by the looks of it, but we'll have a closer look in a moment. Yes, it does. It's got. I've seen these horses sometimes in races and that, so I thought it might be that one. Quite like that it's got that um, sort of moving lava on its feet. It's quite cool. So, yeah, that's that's kind of neat. That's that's quite different. I like that. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and sell a couple more of my horses here in my US ranch because my US ranch is similar to some of my other ranches, packed full of horses and I need to sell them. Give us some diamonds and also just a little bit further with that special quest. Right, I'm just trying to sell off horses that I don't need. Some of them are just not ready and I can't sell them yet. I've got a lot of Fiona Derbies. Haven't got my tier 3 Fiona Derby just yet. A lot of tier twos at the moment. Some of them aren't just ready yet to sell. Okay, so let's have a look here over at our ground stable. Let's see. Okay, so we have some spaces now in our ground stable, which is at least something. I will move our tier two sanctity full out of the breeding house. And uh, now we've got us free and we've got some spaces, which is exactly what we want. Now we'll go ahead and feed this full really quickly and uh, then we'll probably send it out to train after that. Now here on the UK ranch we're gonna go ahead and sell um, some more of these Andalusians. Some of the ones that have maxed um, out now at level 15. If I think I'm gonna basically struggle to finish this daily I'm gonna go ahead and sell some of the other ones as well. So we're just gonna go ahead quickly here and move these foals out of the breeding house. So we've only got one left to move. There we go. Right, now let's have a look. Can we move any of these horses out of the ground stable? Because our ground stable is pretty full right now. I do have a bunch of Andalusians out to train at the moment. They can't sell them off just yet. But I want to move a horse in here so that at least we're earning some coin in the meantime. So we have 323 out of 500. So we have still some more horses to sell. Now, here in my German ranch, my Soraya foals. I need to get these out of the breeding house. I got um, two tier threes. Um, I used the breeding twin tickets to do that. And um, they've been sitting in the breeding house for a really long time because I haven't had the space to move them out. So 
I'm glad to finally have got them out of the breeding house because they've been sat in that breeding house for days. <laughs> but uh, we'll feed it some of our nab shrubbers here and get them leveled up a little bit in the meantime. Plus I've got a little bonus on at the moment which is giving me a little bit of extra XP at the moment. I don't normally get this but just for the moment I thought I would try it out and see what it's like. Um, if uh, it makes any real difference or if it's not really much of a boost. So it has a sad percentage but I wanted to see if it really did make this worthwhile or not because like for that or you know for giving it bedding it's not a huge difference but sort of for some of the uh, better feeds that give a lot more XP it does seem to be a lot more worthwhile. We'll also give this second uh, Soraya some grass. I hate when they ask for grass there's, no, there's hardly any XP it gives for this. It's tiny. Now over here in my UK ground stable, a bunch of the horses the, that I sent out to train have finally finished and a couple of them have got um, to level 10 and above so they've got a chance of giving me some rewards. So I'm just going to go through all of them and uh, collect all of those rewards. And then once I've done that some of these I may sell off even if they're not necessarily max just yet. Some of them might hold on to. I need to at least hold on to one mare. And one stallion to restock uh, my diamond producing Andalusians basically because all I've been doing on this ranch so far is breeding more and more Andalusian tier ones, training them up to level 15, selling them off for diamonds at level 15 and just repeating because that seems to be a pretty efficient way of getting a lot of diamonds. So pretty happy with that so far right okay I think that was the last horse that we needed to work with. Now back in the main part of the ranch here Let's have a look. So we have 422 out of 500, so we still have a little bit to go. I'm going to maybe sell some more of these horses, even if they're just not necessarily just max just yet, because I really want to get that special quest done um, in case that any horses come out um, there that we can get with the uh, points that we get that I really would like, so that's what I kind of would prefer to get up to that 8,000 mark. Let's see, how close are we? We're nine off. Okay, so we need to find some other way of getting nine more diamonds. So do I have another horse that I could sell? I could sell this one. Okay, we're going to go ahead and sell that. So now that special quest has been completed, we can claim that. That is perfect. Not ideal that I had to sell off some of the Andalusians that weren't yet level 15, but at least that quest is now done. I'm just going to go ahead and move a horse over here just so we can switch some of these around a little bit. Okay, we'll transfer those. Now that we have all the horses out here I'm going to go ahead and breed some more Andalusian foals to replenish because now we have like so much fewer uh, horses than before. So we're going to breed twins this time just to get us started a little bit faster. If the game would load. Okay, there we go. <laughs> right. I, there was one time I landed on tier 2 and I was like, no, this is the only time I don't want to lie, land on a higher tier. So, okay, we're good. We got another tier 1. Perfect. So here on one of my friends' ranches, I'm going to try breeding to their sunlit unicorn tier 3. Um, I'm going to use my spinal fairy corn to breed to it. So I'm going to take, um, I think they're, yeah, they're in there. In the ground stable. Okay, so we're going to breed with uh, the twin tickets so that we get two foals of different genders. And uh, let's see now, what do we get? Okay, so I do not want what looks like a standard unicorn foal. Um, we want that sunlit. Yeah, it is a standard unicorn foal tier one. We do not want that. Um, I think I'll just go ahead and use some gems, I think, to maybe up our chances of uh, getting sunlit unicorn tier three. We'll just. There we go. Okay, let's try that. So let's see if we get this. We have 99% chance. Okay, we're good. We got uh, the Sunlight Unicorn, so now we have two tier threes. Uh, foals of that, that is perfect. We've got a decent few more fantasy horses now um, for the Horsepedia. Right now, on my German ranch here, um, I have a couple of special quests. One of them is spend a thousand diamonds. So I am going to go ahead and level up my ground stable. As you can see, my ground stable is quite full and uh, 
This is going to cost us 1,800 diamonds. It's going to get us 8 more rooms. Okay, so that has completed that quest. Right, okay, special quests. There we go, right. So claim that, and that's 1,000 points. So now we just need just under 2,000 points left for the special quests. Okay, this is one of the tier 3 uh, Sunlit Unicorns that I bred. Um, so we're just going to level it up here to level 5. Yep, that is going to level it up, that's good. So now we can have a look at this once it is in its adult form. Okay, that's kind of cute, I kind of like that. Okay, so now we have several more fantasy horses than we did before, which is nice because um, I've really been struggling with a lot of these, just trying to breed them normally, so breeding to my friend's horses seems to have paid off. Also, we use a lot of gems. Okay, so I am going to try breeding another fantasy horse here that I don't yet have. Um, so we're going to use two of my own ones for this. I need one of the onyx unicorns. There it is. Okay. Let's try just... Let's try twin on this and see how this goes. So what I want is this one, the Amethyst Fairy Corn Tier 1. Can't spend any gems on it, so here goes. Very... Well, it's a decent chance to be fair. And we didn't get it. <laughs> okay. Well, anyways, Scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you said a lovely day, and bye-bye!